hello hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel it is jazz renee here if you've been with me for a minute then you know that i have not been on here in a really really long time life's been kind of taking a hold of me but um i'm re-inspired and i'm just ready to get back into the swing of things so i am back with a new video featuring the jack and hood palette so pretty has tons of pretty pretty colors um i just absolutely love the palette the color payoff is really really great like the colors look good in the pan but especially when you put them on just how vivid and vibrant and bright they are and just like i don't know like the color payoff is just bomb so really 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 great job with that you can definitely tell that she took her time in creating it and just had her hand in the entire process so um i really appreciate that from you know beauty influencers and people who do put collaborations together and so just putting their names on something and you know overcharging it or making it pricey um i like people who really make it their own and put their personal touch into it so I'm so appreciative and so happy for her and so glad that I got my hands on it. So we're going to test it out today and I'm going to achieve this in what I look for you guys. So if you're interested in how I did achieve it and all that good stuff, then keep on watching. All right, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and set my eyelids off camera just to minimize how long this video is because those are pretty simple things. Side note. If you hear the air conditioning, I am so, so sorry. I need to invest in a mic so that way noises like that won't be such a um, bother. But anyways, just bear with me. I'll try to talk over it as much as I can. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into the eye look. So the first color that I'm going to take from the palette is called Burns. I'm looking like that because I'm trying to make sure because the colors are not on the actual palette. But there's a color guide that comes with the palette this little this little guy here I don't know if y'all can see it but yeah so I'm kind of looking at that to make sure I tell you guys the right color so yeah I'm gonna go in with bunt not see it's not bunt burns it's buns so I'm gonna go in with buns first and this is gonna act as my transition color and it's kind of like a mauve type color or whatever so using my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette brush I'm gonna go in with the more fluffier end of things here and I'm going to use that to buff it in so I'm going to start I like to start my crease colors on the outer corner because that's just me but everybody has their own way of doing things so do what works for you this is just what works for me so I'm going to start off by buffing it on the outer corner in circular motions and then I'm just going to bring it in so just going back and forth with circular motions, buffing the color into my crease. And again, this is acting as our transition color. It's a very pretty mauve color. Um, super cute. And nice transition color. So I'm gonna go in one more time with it, and you just build it up to your heart's desire because that's what I'm doing so I'm just building it up to my heart's content kind of blending it outward too and just doing the same thing to the other side Then I'm going to go in with the color Mocha and focus that on the bottom, like the more inner crease or whatever. So this is a, I'm using a MAC 217, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It's pretty much wiped off, but yeah, I think I'm using a MAC 217 brush going in with Mocha. And then just focusing it more on the inner crease here, or bottom crease, if that makes sense. this blending brush by A Cosmetics and I'm just gonna kind of like blend out the stuff that I've already done I'm 
we are going to go in with Enchanted, which is this nice dark green. And this is kind of where I get a little nervous because I normally don't do I normally don't do colors. So I'm a little I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be okay. So I'm taking the smaller, more compact denser side of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and taking it taking that color that way. <laughs> that way. Okay. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to take the enchanted color and this is what I'm going to focus on my outer corner, outer V corner here of the eyelid and just kind of dragging it out and in right there and just dipping into it, tapping off the excess and just building that up. So, once I do that, I'm going to go back into, I'm going to kind of mix like buns and mocha together and kind of blow it off a little bit and then just kind of blend out Enchanted in that outer corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my setting spray and just spray my finger that I'm going to use to pick up the color and just wave it, wave it, wave it. And I'm going to pick it up, throw my finger in there, get the color. You can see how pretty it is. Gorgeous. So pretty. And I'm going to pack that on my lid. So now I'm just dipping back in Enchanted and putting it back on the outer corner just to intensify it a little bit more, add some more depth and I'm going to go back combining buns and mocha and blend it out. So I'm going to clean up the eyes a little bit so that the shadows not all over the place. I'm gonna pop something in the inner corner. I don't know what yet. I think it's gonna end up being obsessed. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm taking this brush from the Vanity Planet uh, brush set that they sell. I'm gonna spray that with my setting spray. Kind of let it dry. I'm gonna pick up Obsessed. And pop that in the inner corner here. And do the same thing to the other eye. I am going to go ahead and apply my mascara and do my eyeliner and stuff. gonna go ahead and move on to the face so I went and picked up this covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation I got the shade 760 also known as classic tan on the back it says that it is a lightweight full coverage makeup um, that is meant to hydrate but it also has SPF 20 in it 
and it also includes some vitamins and antioxidants antioxidants um, and it's oil free so yes I am going to try this out and I'm going to try it out using this Maybelline foundation brush um, it has like the nice little groove here um, to kind of like put the foundation in there and we're just gonna see how well this works because usually I'm a beauty blender girl for foundation concealer and everything else but I'm gonna try this out Yes, so now foundation is all on. We're going to move on to concealer and contouring and all that fun stuff. So to set the places that I highlighted, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution um, Luxury Baking Banana Powder. Um, it is not as banana-y as I would like. And I actually don't really like the top that comes with it. Um, it's just too small for what I'd be trying to do. So yeah, but either way, it gets the job done. So. So while that's baking or cooking, I am going to go in and bronze the rest of my face. And I'm just gonna use this matte bush in the shade Blunt, and that's gonna serve as my bronzer. I'm gonna go over everything with my finishing powder. And my finishing powder of choice lately has been the Superstay Better Skin skin transforming powder by Maybelline. I'm in the shade 95 aka coconut. I haven't hit pan yet but I'm almost there I feel like. Um, I just like the coverage that it gives me. It just gives me a nice flawless finish. Um, today's highlighter is going to be the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold by Maybelline New York. Shout out to Too Much Tea for putting me on. Um, if you guys have not subscribed to her channel yet, I don't know what you're doing, but you should go do it. I'll leave her um, YouTube channel either linked up somewhere or down in the description box. But I'm going to take this fan brush and kind of just dip it in here. I'm going to get to work. So, I'm going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Chic Shadow in the shade Quarters, which is this nice peachy color as you guys can see it I'm gonna take this real techniques expert face brush dip it in there and apply it to my cheeks because the eyes are pretty much to start the show I don't want to do too much with the lips so we're gonna keep it pretty nude um so to begin lining the lips I'm gonna take ColourPop's K-pop collection liquid pencil in the color Chi and use that to line our lips nice opaque glossy nude so we're gonna see how this works I'm going to finish off by setting my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray because it is pretty much out so I might as well just finish it off so I'm gonna go ahead and do that
all right you guys so this is the finished look i hope you guys um enjoyed this video but overall i think the look turned out really really good i absolutely love this palette the colors in it are super fun there's tons of color payoff um and i'm just excited to do more fun looks with it so congratulations again to jacqueline and her collaboration with morphe um i hope that there are more to come in her future um because this was great and she's had other great ones too um so yes if you haven't gotten a chance to get your hands on this palette make sure you do i definitely recommend it other than that i love you guys so so much and thank y'all so much for the continued support that you show me um and i will see y'all in my next video bye